This is the Port and Cross Pier, or officially the Port and Cross Jetty. It was built by the Considere Construction Company and was built with uh, reinforced concrete, a very early example. And it certainly withstood the test of time, unlike many of the other piers that were built using wood and metal. In the 1890s, the, the Glasgow South Western Railway Company had a plan to build a railway that would branch off from the line somewhere near Sea Mill and would run up through Port Cross, Hunterston and rejoin the line to Largs at Fairley. It said that the pier was finished, finished completed by workers from the Ard Neal estate. And certainly in 1912, there were regular steamer, steamship visits by the, the steamer, the Juno, a passenger carrying ship. However, they didn't prove as popular as many other of the stopping off points on the Clyde. There are photographs of boats calling with the guano. So that would probably come from Peru and that would be a fertilizer for the fields. The gap that exists seems to be as a result of World War II precautions. Apparently it was done to other small piers um, around the Clyde as well at the time. You can see the base, the concrete base of what seems to have been some sort of shed at some point, and the remains of the, of the base of, of lamps and of course of the railings. The last uses were in 1983 when the MV Keppel, which is usually the ferry between Largs and Millport, called on a charter. In 1995, the Waverley called. Perhaps the greatest claim to fame was in 1995 again. Parahandy episode was filmed here and the vital spark visited the pier.